Well, let's go back to hemi-sync as it applies to that resonation that you were talking about in the brain. You've obviously been dealing with the brain map for quite some time. What is actually happening in the brain with hemi-sync? How is it actually affecting the brain? as you have been able to understand at this point? Well, in a good number of people, um, there's a change that first is a softening of the usual alpha rhythm that occurs in the back of the head. That softening means that the, the rhythm slows down and the power of that rhythm slows down as the person becomes more into a state of uh, dissociation, if you will. Then there's an increase in power and lowering in frequency right in the top of the head. We call this area CZ in the business, but it's the same thing as the crown chakra. I guess that the esoteric person would describe. And as this increases in power, and lowers itself in frequency, there is a sense of not being so terribly connected to the physical body, of being free to move about a bit, uh, having more active imagination, that sort of thing. And if that progress, if that state progresses, there is an activation of the sides of the head, the temporal lobes, if you will, into higher and higher frequency and power as transcendence is reached. Mm -hmm.